do you have a spec you look out for in a guy will you go on a date with me i would say that it's quite overwhelming at times i've had people come up to me and be like i love your youtube channel i am team tall dark and handsome i remember when i was in university i would literally act out me having a youtube channel but i actually want to start my own business i wasn't scared at all i was if anything more excited <laughs> when i saw this question i was like lol <laughs> Hi YouTube fam! Thank you so much for tuning back in if you're an old subscriber and thank you so much for tuning in if you're a new viewer. Please join the fam by clicking the subscribe button. I would love to have you on here. My name is Adela Pobalogu and I'm a lifestyle content creator that films about faith, personal development, wellness and of course lifestyle. So today is a very exciting day. Um, and it's an exciting video because in this video, I'm celebrating my second year anniversary on YouTube. Yay! <laughs> I feel like that yay was like my first year anniversary where I was like, yay! But yes, um, it's my second year on YouTube. It's been two years on YouTube. That's four, but I mean two. Yes, two. It's been two years on YouTube and it's so exciting. Um, thank you so much guys for, you know, really rocking with me. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for so much. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for all the love that you've shown me by watching my videos, by sharing my videos, by liking it, by commenting. I see your comments. I see your likes. I see your support. And I just want to say, a huge huge thank you i really appreciate it and um i hope to continue to grow my youtube channel hopefully i become even more consistent i know i haven't been super consistent you know i'm trying my best but um i hope and pray to be more consistent going into this new year so thank you so much guys so to celebrate i thought i'd do a question and answer sort of video just for those who might not really know me to kind of know me a bit better those who are new to my channel to get to know me a bit better and even for my old subscribers to know me a bit more so i asked um my insta fam people on instagram to ask me questions i put up a question post on my stories and i asked people to ask me questions i also put it on my whatsapp status and i put it on my community page on youtube and i got a few questions which i'm going to be answering in this video so if you want to watch more of that then definitely stay tuned <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to be reading the questions off my laptop. So if I look down, if you see me looking down, that's why I'm looking down. So let's jump right into it. So the first question is, how are you doing? I really love this question. Thank you so much to the person who asked me this. I really appreciate it because I just thought, you know, that's quite thoughtful to ask how I'm doing. Well, I'm doing really well. I'm doing quite well. I'm in a good space, thank God. Um, God has been really good and kind to me and I'm just appreciative of him. I'm appreciative of his goodness. I'm truly blessed. And I just thank God for that. I know it's not every time that I'm appreciative of my blessings, but when I count my blessings, I see how blessed I am and how good God has been to me. So I'm doing really, really well. I recently just celebrated my 28th birthday. Go watch my 28th birthday vlog where I show you what I got up to on my birthday weekend. So go watch that, I'll link that up. So go watch that if you haven't. So I'm excited for the new year and um, I'm just excited for everything that is to come with this new age. So yeah, I'm doing quite well. I hope you're doing well too. And I hope all my subscribers and everyone watching is doing well. Let me know how you're doing in the comment section. Have you ever considered being an entrepreneur? <laughs> yes. Yes, I have. I have and I hope to be one in future. I kind of feel like YouTube is kind of entrepreneurship in a sense because you're kind of running your own YouTube page. And especially when you start working with um, brands, that's a form of entrepreneurship in my opinion. Um, I do content on Instagram and on YouTube. Follow me on my Instagram if you're not already following me but i actually want to start my own business and i'm working towards it by currently taking courses that will help me start my own business so i hope to be an entrepreneur in future i do have a nine to five currently but i hope to go into full-time entrepreneurship while i do youtube on the side so that's the, that's the plan 
<laughs> so do you have a spec you look out for in a guy if yes share them so do i have a spec hmm i like this question it wasn't actually a guy that asked me it was a girl so yes i do have a spec actually i have a physical spec and i have like a character spec for me i would say like Character beats physical appearance, but I'm I I have to kind of be attracted to the person I'm with. But I'm very big on personality too. If you have a great personality, I tend to draw towards you. Um, but in terms of my physical spec, I am team tall, dark, and handsome. Yep, I like my men tall because I am quite tall myself. I like my men dark, and I like my men obviously handsome, and I like a bit of a beard so I could play with it. <laughs> Yeah, but in terms of character, I like someone who first and most importantly is God-fearing. And when I say God-fearing, I don't mean religious. I mean like you're not perfect, but you have a relationship with God and you have a relationship, you know, that you're trying to build with God. You have a relationship with him. You speak to him, you spend time with him and you want to please him. So that's very important to me. I also like my men very kind. I like kind-hearted people. Not just kind to me, but kind to other people as well. I think that's very important. I like people I like men who are hardworking. Um, so I like hardworking men. So you have to be hardworking, you have to be driven, you have to have a vision for yourself, you have to have a vision for your life, you have to be heading somewhere, heading in the right direction. I like someone, something that's really important to me is someone who makes me a better version of myself. I can't be with you and I'm worse off. So I want someone who is making me a better version of myself. So that's very important to me. And so many other things. Those are just a few things. I don't want to go on and on. But being kind, hardworking, making me a better version of myself. Fun. I have to say that you have to be super fun. I don't like people who um, are boring. I like people who are a bit fun. You know, you like to go out. You like to enjoy yourself. And you just are really kind of like obsessed with me. <laughs> You have to really, really like me for me to be with you. I don't want you to be managing me or just, you know, seeing me as, okay, I want you to really, really love me. You know, those are just a few qualities that I like in a guy. So when you prefer schooling in terms of location, your undergrad or master's? Um... In terms of location, I prefer schooling in America. For you guys who might not know, I went to school in Birmingham, University of Birmingham, so in Birmingham, United Kingdom for my undergrad. And I went to school in New York, um, Man Manhattan, New York, um, for my master's. So I, I schooled in two different countries. That's why the person is asking. Um, and I think I prefer schooling in America. So I enjoyed my time in New York more. Um, I, I love Birmingham and I'm a, I'm a huge Burmy. I do love Birmingham. I love the city. It's a very beautiful city, but I feel like I prefer New York more and America more. Um, I would say that that's my preference. Um, I would say schooling in America in terms of like just like the experience, things are a bit more chill there. Like I remember one of my tutors was like, oh, let's go grab a cup of coffee. Let's go for lunch. And then you won't find that in the UK. Well, yeah, you won't find that in the UK, but um, like I did my master's in America and I did my undergrad, so it may be two different experiences. You know, master's in UK in the UK might be a bit um different, but um, I would say things are more chilled in America. It's more relaxed there. I feel like you the UK is a bit more uptight, so I preferred schooling in America. What books will you recommend to a non-reader? So I might be a bit biased when it comes to books because most of the books that I read are inspirational or spiritual books. I'm trying to diversify my palette a bit and read other genres. But um, the books I recommend are spiritual or inspirational books because that's why I read the most. So I'll say one book that I really enjoyed reading is The Basketful of the Mind by Joyce Meyer. I feel like everyone should read this because we all have a mind and we all battle in the mind once in a while um, with negative thoughts and it just talks about how you can have a better mind um, and I also recommend The Winning Attitude by John Maxwell that just talks about how to have the right attitude um, I think that's also very important and applicable to everyone having the right attitude so you can um, enjoy your life better. And there's a book that I haven't read, but I really wanted to read is The Atomic Habits 
by James Clare. So I haven't read that book, but I've heard like um, parts of it from a podcast that I listened to, um, a leadership podcast I listened to. The guy on the leadership podcast recommends the book and he reads parts of the book sometimes. So I feel like it's a very interesting book that I would like to read. It's also quite an inspirational, you know, personal development like book. So those are the three books I would recommend. Atomic Habits, The Winning Attitude, and The Battleful of the Mind. Okay, so the next question is, will you go on a date with me? If yes, will you be in a relationship with me? <laughs> when I saw this question, I was like, LOL. Um, I'll, I won't mind hanging out with you because I know the person, so I won't mind hanging out with you, but to be in a relationship with you, uh, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> Um, sorry. Um, I don't know you too well to be in a relationship with you. Okay, I guess he was just joking. So, um, yeah. Okay, the next question I have here is, when will you give me that your wig I have been eyeing? <laughs> Law. I'll give you, I will give you when I get some other wigs, because obviously I have to wear something on my head. But when I get some other wigs, I could definitely pass it on to you. I really don't mind. So um, the next question isn't a question. So the next one is not a question. You're really gorgeous and you're doing well, girl. Thank you so much. I really appreciated this comment. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That put a smile on my face. Now, the remaining questions are about my YouTube channel and my YouTube journey. They're really good questions. And I thought, you know, it's brilliant because I'm celebrating my second year on YouTube. So might as well answer these questions. The first question that relates to my channel is, why did you choose to be a YouTuber? And, and then there was another question which is related to that question. And it says, what was your inspiration for starting? Well, why did I choose to be a YouTuber? I feel like I've always wanted to start YouTube. YouTube is something that sort of just resonated with me. I watch other people's YouTube channel. And I just loved, enjoyed watching YouTube. So I always knew that I wanted to start my own. I remember when I was in university, I would literally act out me having a YouTube channel. So I would sit, like, I would sit in front of a mirror. I would just sit on my bed and literally be like, hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. And I did have a YouTube channel then. And I would literally do a whole video, like pretend like I was having, I had a YouTube channel. And then I also used to vlog before I had a YouTube channel. And I did my vlogs so I kind of always knew that I would want to start a YouTube channel um, I also think that my personality goes for like YouTube you kind of have to have like a really big personality a bubbly personality and I feel like I have the personality for it so those are some of the reasons why I start I chose to be a youtuber and what inspired me to start YouTube how was it when you decided to start YouTube how was it well, for me, I would say that it was quite exciting. I wasn't scared at all. I was, if anything, more excited to start. <laughs> I just knew that I would enjoy it. I was looking forward to it. And like I said, I had already started practicing having a YouTube channel. So I already kind of had a feel of what it would be like. And I was excited. So, yeah. Do you get overwhelmed sometimes having a YouTube channel? Yes, and yes, and yes, I do. And that is why I'm not as consistent as I would love to be. I do get overwhelmed. Content creation can be quite overwhelming. You know, there's a lot of planning that goes into it. There's a lot of, you know, recording and editing. And it can be quite tasking. It's not an easy job. Shout out to all our content creators. It's really not an easy job. Um, So I will say that it's quite overwhelming at times. Although I do enjoy it very much. Um, also, I do content creation on Instagram, so I do content creation on two platforms, which makes it even more stressful. But I'll say I do enjoy it, and when I do make a video and I did it, that um sort of dopamine rush that comes with it is what really excites me about the whole process. So I, it's quite overwhelming, but I do enjoy it. Okay, so the next question. What area of your life have you grown in since you started YouTube? I like this question because it gets me to reflect a bit. I would say when it comes to like hard skills, obviously I've grown in like editing. I know how to edit better. Um, I now do editing, not just for my YouTube channel, but I do editing at work. So it really helped me in my editing skills. 
Um, it has helped me also in my content creation skills, coming up with ideas, in brainstorming. I think it's just helped me to think better. But I'll say it's also helped me to be more committed because YouTube is a commitment. And, you know, having a channel, running a channel, putting out videos um, almost every week, um, you know, or at least twice a month is a challenge. And it's something that I've been committed to, like I said, for two years. <laughs> and, you know, it's it comes with a lot of commitment. So I would say that I've grown in my level of commitment and my dedication to a task. What else have I grown in? I'll say I've also grown in the process of just learning how to manage something because I've had to manage my YouTube channel. I've had to do a lot of coming up with captions, looking at the analytics to see what is doing well. And, you know, so just the ability to manage something and see it grow. I don't know what I can classify that as, <laughs> but I'll say management of things. So I'll say I've grown and it's just helped my character and my skill sets as well. So if you want to start a YouTube channel, this is your sign to go ahead. It's quite rewarding. So yeah. Um, who would you like to do a collab with or bring on your channel? So in terms of doing a collab, there are a few people that I would like to do a collab with. And these are YouTubers that I watch. I would love to do a collab with Dima Omer. I love her YouTube channel. I think she's amazing. She's one of the the OGs in the game. <laughs> she started a long time ago and she's doing really well. So I would love to do a collab with her. I would also love to do a collab with Dodos. I love her personality. She just seems so sweet and, you know, just good vibes and good energy. And the last person I would like to do a uh, collab with, I hope I don't murder her last name, but it's Valerie Ebuniwe. Ebuniwe. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. She's a Christian um youtuber and i like that we share the same faith i feel like we could do a video together you know about our faith or something related um she's also into wellness and personal development which is what my channel is about so i would definitely love to do um a collab with her so if you know any of these people tag them tag them let them see share this video with them <laughs> so they could come do maybe make my dreams come true and i could do a collab with them um, who would I like to bring on my channel is another question. And I would say, um, in terms of bringing people on my channel, I really want to bring more of my friends. I want you guys to see my friends, see my peoples. Um, you've probably seen them in my vlogs, but I would like to do a sit down video with them. I would also love to bring my parents on my channel. That should be coming up in the nearest future. So bringing my parents on the channel for sure. And the last question is what keeps you going? And I know that this was in relation to YouTube, but I'm gonna ask, answer it generally and in relation to YouTube. So in relation to YouTube, what keeps me going is really that I enjoy creating content. I enjoy creating these videos that you see. It's fun to me, it's exciting to me. It's literally, I would say, my passion. I enjoy creating content. It's can be overwhelming, like I previously said, but I genuinely enjoy it. So I would say that keeps me going for sure. Also, my friends, you know, people supporting me. I've had people come up to me and be like, I love your YouTube channel. When are you putting out a new video? I know that my sister went to lunch with one of her friends and her friend said, when is Dollar, when I went off YouTube for a while, she said, when is Dollar putting out a new YouTube video? I miss her videos. And that was really touching when my sister told me. So it's just, you know, um, you know, the feedback I get about my channel, people are telling me, okay, you're born for this. You're really good at this. And that feedback keeps me going. And my friends just supporting me. I've had my friends stay up with me while I edit a video, encouraging, encourage me. And it's just been really sweet. Obviously, God keeps me going for sure. I know he has my back as I do this and he definitely favors me and helps me and brings people to help me in the process. Um, and generally in life, what keeps me going is just God. God is my source. God is my help. God is my strength. He's my father. He keeps me going. He loves me very much and he takes care of me. My family and my friends, shout out to you guys. You're awesome. Their encouragement is something that I cannot buy. Um, it's just amazing. I have the most supportive family and I have some of the most supportive friends and I'm just so thankful for them and those are the things that keep me going. And, you know, um, yeah, I'm just thankful for my family, my friends, and thankful for God. And thank you for you guys too, my subscribers. We've reached over 500 subscribers in two years. 
And that's given the fact that I haven't been so consistent. So if I was, you know, even more consistent, where would we be by now? You know, so it's, it's just a, it's just a motivation to keep going, you know, keep putting out content. And, you know, I know that I keep, I put out content that really inspires people. And, you know, I put, I share lots about my faith and my journey. And I think that's another thing that keeps me going, just knowing that I'm putting out content that encourages people. I'm just thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for my subscribers. You also keep me going. And I'm just excited, you know, for the future um, of my channel. And I know it's only going to get better. So thank you guys so much. Thank you. It's been two years and I appreciate you guys. Please continue watching my content, continue sharing my content, like this video if you enjoyed it, and comment down below, you know, any more questions that you have for me. I'd like to do another video like this in future, so comment down below any questions you have for me, and also comment down below your answers to some of these questions. What keeps you going? How are you doing? Um, you know, have you ever considered being an entrepreneur? Let me know your answers to some of these questions. I would love to, you know, get to know you guys more. I really want to connect with you guys, your family. And, you know, I'm just excited to be doing life with you guys. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I'm excited for the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you. I'll see you in another one. Bye.